morning everyone and welcome to our latest video on this a fabulous sunny October morning and I've just been out for a bike ride and it was gorgeous anyway you don't want to know that you want to know what is Julian unpacking today now, I know you like the unpackaging videos well I like them myself I must say um, if you like my videos you may have heard this before you can uh, click the subscribe button which is underneath but not if you're watching on your TV and if you like my videos you can give me a thumbs up and if you don't like my videos you can give me a thumbs down but I'm sorry to say the thumbs down button doesn't work and also podcasts are coming soon but I'm just struggling a bit with the technology so as soon as I've sorted that out podcasts are coming anyway unpackaging what have we got here it says ride eat sleep repeat so i'll do that ride eat sleep repeat and it's from who's it from it's from chain reaction so do we think it's something cycling related viewers i think we probably do so without any further ado do run run let's open this up oh, oh, oh look at that what have we got get rid of the packaging it's a pastelli uh castelli rosso corsa don't know what that means i think it's uh italian let's open it up mm -mm. Open it up. Hang on a minute. Just, just a bit here talk amongst yourselves oh, we just, we just, oh, there we go Sorry about that. what have we got it is right well I, I, enough of this I know what it is. This is the Castelli Perfetto um, light jersey. And it is, because I've already got one, although not in this colour. It's not a nice colour, what do you think? It is, in my humble opinion, the best and most versatile cycling jersey, uh, jersey, uh, cycling jersey ever produced. Why is that? Well, it's um, windproof and it is you can see there wind stopper it is gore there we are, can you see that gore wind stopper fabric and it really does work it really does stop the wind now it's quite it's quite thin can you see that so really you've just got the the windproof fabric uh it's not completely waterproof but it is damn near waterproof the water uh, sort of beads beads off it so it'll protect you in a shower it won't really protect you in heavy rain but it's uh, very versatile it's got um three three pockets in the back sorry three pockets on the back and they have a, a little hole you see that little hole and the hole is so the the water drips out for when it rains very useful and it's got a long a long tail which protects see it says castelli there uh, uh it protects your ass um no other way of saying that really uh it protects your ass uh when it's raining so very useful it's got a nice castelli uh, scorpion there um so uh, a wonderful versatile excellent jersey made in moldova um not sure where moldova is uh, eastern europe somewhere or is it the Russian Republic? Could be both. Uh, this is a 3XL, folks. Now, um, carrying a few extra pounds, um, but a 3XL Castelli sizing is, uh, I'm going to say, you know, a law unto themselves. Um, in most garments, most garments, most cycling garments, I'm extra large. Um, I did buy a... Uh, one of these, not in this colour actually, in a 2XL. I thought, oh, I've lost a few pounds, I can get into the 2XL. So I bought the 2XL and it was just a bit too tight, got to be honest. So I uh, sold it on eBay, actually selling it on eBay. If you're quick, you might catch it, put in a bid. And i uh, gone back to the 3XL because I know it fits. It is tight. Uh, it, is, uh, it, is quite, it is quite restricting. Um, tell you a little story. I was in uh, I was in Soho 
um, the other day, not for any other reason than to, to go to Soho. And I passed one of those one of those doorways. You've probably seen them. Stairs go up. Uh, the red light shaded. Postcards at the side. Anyway, one of the postcards said uh, Dominatrix uh, upstairs. Uh, Castelli clothing provided. So apparently, what, what happens is a gentleman of, of a certain age uh, go up to see this Dominatrix, and she puts them in a uh, Castelli cycling top, which is a size too small. So she puts them, for example, me, where she would put in a size large or even an extra large, and there I would be uh, restricted, really quite quite seriously restricted. And then she'd put me on the turbo and set up the Zwift, and she'd give me a good thrashing, and that would cost uh, cost about a hundred quid. So I'm told, anyway. So I'm told. I've, I've uh, not not experienced this uh, yet. Anyway, uh, you'll want to see me wearing this. So I'll pause the video, I'll put it on, and then I'll come back and you can see what it looks like when I'm wearing it. Don't go away. Okay, I've put the uh, Castelli Perfetto jersey on. Uh, I'm not wearing anything underneath. Normally I'd wear a base layer, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm actually naked. There you are, can you see that? Naked, underneath that. And, um, oh, it is, it is, it is nice. I, I wouldn't normally wear it uh, next to the skin, not not really that kind of person, and I find that the the fabric not that pleasant next to the skin. But if you've got a base layer underneath, perfect. Uh, almost completely waterproof, uh, windproof. Uh, ideal in uh, cold weather with a cold wind. Um, not ideal in just cold weather because it's not particularly warm. So it it uh, certainly blocks the wind. But it doesn't necessarily keep you warm and that's why it's useful to have a, a base layer underneath. Now I'll just turn around so you can see what it looks like from the back. Sorry, chairs in the way. There we are. Um, I, can't, I can't see behind me so I can't see what you can see but I, I assume you'll be able to see that from the back. If I bend over a bit you can perhaps see the pockets there. Very useful pockets, very deep. Very, uh, very nice. So I'll turn around again because that's not that's not very good. Uh, I think this colour is uh, very pleasant. Do you agree? It's a sort of grey, slight, slight green tinge. Uh, orange pad across there, as you can see, and it says Rosso Rosso Corsa. Uh, don't know, don't know what that is. Might be, might be related to Ross Kemp, I suppose, or maybe not. Anyway, that's the Castelli Perfetto. Wonderful piece of kit. Not cheap, did get it uh, in a bit of a price reduction in chain reaction, so uh, I'd avoid paying full price if I were you, because it is expensive, but if you can get it at a cheap price, uh, it lasts. I've, uh, the one I've got at the moment I've worn lots of times. Uh, very versatile, excellent jersey. See you next time. The uh, address of the Dominatrix, that'll be in the next video.